All right, good morning. Welcome to day two. If you remember, yesterday we worked on ball touches, we worked on dribbling, we worked a little bit on juggling, right? Uh, we also uh, did a warm up and we'll do one shortly. Uh, again, try to keep a regular routine. You don't have to spend an hour and a half doing everything, but just start with a warm up, go on to your uh, training. We'll do the challenge minute uh, again. We'll see what Kyle has in store for us today, but um, hope you have a great day and, and welcome back. Uh, so today Kyle's gonna do a couple different ones. The first one is karaoke. Uh, I don't know too many other names that it has, but um, yep, he's sort of moving sideways exactly. That's exactly correct. And he's going um, in that direction. When he comes back, he'll do the same thing coming back with the other leg. Try to pick up those knees as you're doing that. Try to swing those arms as you're going back and forth. That's pretty good. Thank you, Kyle. The other one is, um, yeah, knee hugs and knee lifts. So he doesn't have to be jogging. He's, he's, again, to warm up, pulling his knee up, nice pace. Again, getting muscles loose so that he can uh, do the drills he's going to do in practice. And again, uh, watch closely his technique. He's not just going through the motions. He's uh, got a pattern in order and everything's good. Thank you, Kyle. That's awesome. All right. Uh, we're really grateful that Kyle is, is here to help us with, uh, with training today. Today's challenge is going to be uh, push-ups for one minute. Um, if you're doing this at home, don't forget to count or have somebody count for you. Um, and then after he's done with the push-ups, he's also gonna do a standing long jump. We're just trying to get distance there. The clock won't be an issue, but um, Kyle, you can start with either one. It's your call. I'll start with push-ups. All right, here we go. Let me get the uh, clock running. You're a brave man. Okay. Okay, so our second challenge today uh, is the, the standing long jump. I'm sure you guys have all seen this. If you've seen an Olympic Games, on uh, uh, whenever they're on, I know it's supposed to be in Japan this year. I think they postponed it to next year. Um, or you've gone to a track event at, at your school. Um, so the standing long jump, um, we're gonna give Kyle a first try and see if he can beat it the second time okay and uh, Kyle you ready to yep. whenever you're ready it's uh, it's on you and Wow that's awesome I would say that's probably about twice the distance that I did which isn't you know it's much that that's impressive mine wasn't we're gonna give him a chance to see if he can beat it um, and again, you want to be loosened up when you're doing this and not uh, pull anything. Notice, uh, wow, and you beat it. That's awesome. Really good, nice job. I want you to notice, uh, you probably couldn't help but, but not see it, how deeply down he had bent and how much his arms uh, were helping him. So uh, we hope you guys have fun with that. Well done. All right, our challenge time today. Um, the scripture comes from Daniel 3 and uh, 1 Samuel 12, 20. I'll go ahead and read the verse now. Do not be afraid, do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. Today we're talking about uh, these very famous uh, men, and I know you've heard of them, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Um, 
And I'm going to have you remember to read Daniel 3, the entire chapter. It's in the Old Testament, and uh, that's going to be your assignment. But these are guys who, uh, based on the scripture that I just shared with you, uh, they discovered what it meant to serve Christ. And I don't know if you know the story or not, but the king had demanded that when the music played and the trumpet sounded, that uh, everybody would bow down to this god of gold. Was it about a hundred feet high? Something like that? I think it was. Um, and, and these four men of God, or these three men of God, um, did not bow to the statue and they were thrown in the furnace. And that's all I'm going to say about it because it's one of the coolest stories you'll ever read. When they were, when they were in the furnace, the king noticed that there was a fourth figure in that fire with them. Which sounds a little bit interesting, but don't forget that part in, that's in the story. Um, the other thing I want to share with you is this. Following God gives us courage to obey and to do the right thing. How many times are you facing a, a good choice or a bad choice? Um, I know every day we make decisions. So again, promise me, you guys are going to read Daniel 3 and you're going to find out about the four in the fire. God bless you guys. Let's say a prayer before we uh, move on, okay? Heavenly Father, we're so grateful that uh, we have a chance to uh, learn new skills. Uh, we have an opportunity to, uh, to be creative as well. And, um, and really a wonderful opportunity just to work hard. How often do we get to go outside and, and do that and get some exercise? Um, but Father, we're especially grateful that we have a time each day at camp where we want to learn about you. We want to retain the commitments we've made to you. And of course, um, we want to grow. So Father, bless each of these um, kids, these boys, these girls. Bless these families, Lord. Um, give them peace. Uh, give them mercy, Lord, and uh, Father, help all of us to, to get through this time in the history of the world. Um, keep us healthy, Lord, and do your will in each of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, you guys. So, uh, remember yesterday, we uh, did touches around cones. We did touches inside a small space. Uh, we saw Kyle touching using almost every surface of his feet. The underneath of his shoe, the sole, the toe, the laces, inside of the foot, outside of the foot. Again, those are all uh, weapons for you to use when you have a ball at your feet and you've got control. Today we're going to do a couple of little exercises that will make you feel uh, more and more comfortable with the ball. The first one is, um, uh, is I'm going to have Kyle tap the ball forward with his shoelaces and then pull it back and then do the other foot. Tap it forward and pull it back. Um, and again, he's doing this in an, in an enclosed space, easy for me to say. Um, so there are boundaries. We want to make sure that he stays within that. And he's working really hard not only to concentrate on the ball and not lose it, but to stay in bounds. Go from tapping back and forth, so now uh, pass it back behind your foot, bring it to the other one, and then do it the same thing the other way. And again, he can either stay in that place uh, that he's at, or he can keep moving in and out of that, that uh, five by five square. Um, you can make it smaller if you want. It makes, uh, makes you work harder doing that drill. And now I'm gonna ask him to finish uh, with some toe touches with both feet. And there's a number of ways that you can do that, and that's probably the most common way. If he decides he wants to get out of that space because he's got so much creativity in him, he may still move around and still be doing that. 
And now we're going to say, you know what, Cre create something with that, uh, do something different. You're still using your toes and, and uh, keeping control of it, but can you move around? And we'll give him permission to use other parts of his foot as well. You can stop, Kyle. That's great. I don't know if you could hear it from your position, but when you're this close, you can hear how, got, how hard he's working by his breath. So, uh, nice work. This is a really great opportunity for him to do some juggling. So again, and it's your job to do the same as well. And while he's juggling, I'm gonna throw a couple curves at him. Um, not literally. Try and hold the ball just in one place, on one foot or the other. Wow, you looked away and still, yeah, that's great, that's great. All right, stop. So just push that ball aside for a moment, doesn't have to be that far. Um, I'm sure you guys have as many uh, athletic uh, balls in your uh, house as, as I do. Uh, I want to see uh, how Kyle can do with a smaller ball, a small futsal ball, and maybe a tennis ball, and maybe one of these. And if you have these at home, I would encourage you to, uh, to go ahead and use them. If you can get comfortable, wow, he's killing it, isn't it? Isn't he? That's awesome. Well done. That's great, that's great. Keep going. Oh, he dropped it. That's all right, I, I jinxed you. So try that one. I'm, I'm really sorry once again that you're not here to give him a hand. He's really, uh, you can tell very easily that it's not the first time he's done this. Um, I've been fortunate to train uh, some kids who really work hard and they do everything to get better. The last challenge, uh, Kyle, is I'm gonna give you the pink mini ball and I don't know what pink will do to uh, to his being a boy and playing soccer, but he seems to be handling it pretty well. Oh no. Outstanding, outstanding. Ooh. Awesome. Keep it going. All right, we're gonna stop there. We'll do one more drill and do the other dribbling one. That was awesome. Yeah. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna have uh, Kyle dribbling again, but he's gonna do some sprinting. So he's gotta get there as quickly as he can. I'll start him in a moment. He's starting here at the gate, and I want you to watch him as he gets to the cone and then turns around and, and gets back. I want you to notice how he's stopping the ball. Uh, sometimes he's not gonna stop it, he's just gonna keep going. And he's just going hard every time he comes back. By the time he goes to the last cone, and he doesn't have to do it in order, um, he'll have uh, finished, okay? Ready? And we're, we're in, go. A little sprint dribble there. You're gonna use your foot, your shoelaces uh, on that. Notice his head as he's looking around, not only at the ball. Notice his arms, his knees are bent. He's moving at a good pace, still keeping the ball under control. And he's coming all the way back just like that to stop. Awesome. Uh, this is a really great drill for you, not only for your uh, stamina and, and your lungs, but just touching a ball with speed in a game situation. Well done. Come in today, I know yesterday was probably a little boring for you. You all had your shorts and jerseys and uh, ball. I don't know that too many of you had a mouthpiece. Eh, maybe. Today's, um, you know what, I'm giving some, um, I'm, I'm, I'm giving some time to the girls that are out there, although guys, it's okay, don't be, uh, don't be offended, but 
Today's soccer thing minute is this. Only American soccer team to win a, an international tournament ever. It's the women's soccer team in the first FIFA World Cup for women in 1991 in China. I think probably most of the girls who were watching already knew that. Um, I think they've won three or four and I know that they're the defending World Cup champion right now. They won the last one. Um, so yeah, I have it right here. Four World Cups for the women, zero for the men, maybe one of these days, and then four Olympic gold medals as well. Girl power.